Chair Benny Thompson captivating a very small audience at the uh, January 6th hearing on Capitol Hill with what ended up being a 12-minute snooze fest that was very heavy. John, MSNBC and CNN, they also did year commemorations, year-long commemorations of January 6th. They were the biggest flops in the ratings. And this so-called unseen footage that was aired tonight, it really just looked like warmed over versions of what we'd already seen. I don't think this moves the needle for the American viewer, for the voter. And if they've got other viewing options and they do, they're watching something else tonight. Of concern and attention the American people will give these hearings. I guess they announced what we're going to have a hundred more of them, but what do you think the attention level will be? One to ten. It's a ten flat the zero. People are worried about inflation, the bleeding border, the violent crime, the destruction of our economy. They can't get baby formula for their kids. That's what they care about. Marxism in our schools, not partisan, political, anti-Trump propaganda. One to ten. Ryan's previous. Uh, one. Wow. Joe Concha. Hmm. Three, because the president is polling currently at about 33% approval. So those folks, I guess, will be concerned about this. But independents and those who are apolitical and those on the right will say, yeah, no, we, we get it. And, and we have more important things to be concerned Just about right now. get the feeling when you watch social media and, and you see the reactions overall, there doesn't seem to be a lot resonating right now with the American people, at least online, from what you see. And it's going to be very interesting tomorrow to see the ratings Shannon. Mm -hmm. According to the Nielsen rating system, 20 million people watched the January 6th hearings in prime time. And apparently, so did former President Donald J. Trump. President Trump appeared to be watching, issuing a barrage of commentary online. 